number four, me, Joe Lindblad, to the line, we're on the way. Lindblad's got a lot of company, they want to go three wide for the race lead, looking to go three wide, four wide, maybe five wide, who knows, it's a conglomeration of chaos out of turn number two, and ho oh, oh, rejected from the mix, slow on the pace, chaos does not ensue. Well, working his way out of turn number four, it will be, I believe, Russ Speck in the 26th, the leader of Brent Slick running second, three wide for a third out of turn, into turn number one. Rough time out here, Black Flag coming out for double A. He's already in the show, he was just out testing it a little bit. Oh, okay. Just, I didn't know what was going on there, I yeah. thought he was in, I thought maybe it was a DQ earlier on or something like that, but I didn't know that, so I don't know how to answer that question then. I saw the black flag coming out, he's down the infield, so he's gone. He is no longer a factor, sorry, I had some stuff going on there, I was trying to take care of him, a little behind the eight ball right now. That's all right, well, we've got him going around in turn number four, everybody gathers it back, we're going to stay green. Your pole center, Nick Lindblad, did not get a good start. He got shoved up to the high side out of turn number two. He started to work his way back up through the field. He now runs seven after getting shuffled back to about the 11th earlier. That was Milky that went rogue down in turn number one and two. He's still in three and four, but down here he's wandering around like a lost child. He can't find a fight, quite find a line that works as he pushes up high on the racetrack. Three wide battle down the back straightaway for that fourth and final transfer spot. Billy. That is Jake Harms out there in the six. J. you've got Brock Peter in the 48. He's got that low side, but taking the advantage away from all of them, that is Jeremy Purdy in that four machine. Don't well, forget, Brock Beater had himself in the show. There was some contact, and he missed that transfer spot. Now Beater charging his way back up through the field. He's running fifth right now, just behind the number four car, as he is in hot pursuit. Jeremy Purdy lies just ahead. Beater's got to make the pass on him. Well, the highlighter, Austin Luella, he's looking for some advantage, and we've got great caution on the speedway. We've got one turn around as we get set to go back. Green flag action on the speedway. Russ Beck sets it down. Now turn number four to the line. We're back in the way. Beat feature number one in the hobby stock division. Well, 34 car working down the inside as well. It slingshots up high in the three car. Highly visible back in the back of the field. Unfortunately, that's not the way to go. Another one around. And that is the 21C car. That's David Carter around down to turn number one and two. Carter able to continue on. We say green flag down the front straightaway. Brent Schweik has now overtaken the lead. Russ Beck was your leader. And I don't see where Speck went now. Oh, he's dropped back to fourth on the speedway. And he's dropped back in the fourth. Dropped back to fourth right now. Corey Adams holding down the number two spot on the racetrack right behind Schlake in the Z34. Schlake leads him out to turn number four across the line. This will be three laps remaining this time by. Here comes the challenge for the number two spot as Purdy leads down to the inside. Purdy trying to run that low move around, kill him up. Down out of turn number two. They will go side by side down the back straightaway. Schlake, your leader, Purdy now running second with the advantage over Killen. Now the battle for four, Speck back there battling with, I believe that's Brock Beater. You are correct, that is Brock Beater. Beater able to get around and up into the number four position on the racetrack. He's got himself a transfer spot, he's got to hang on to it. Slippery down to turn number one to two. The snow actually building up down on the apron of the racetrack as well. You can see it on that entrance into turn number one. This is aggressive racing out here right now. You've got to be on top of your game. It is a true driver's track. Not only is it slick out here, it's also snowing. Look at the battle for the lead. Purdy getting to the low side of Schwake. Getting into turn number one. It's a white flight one. Killer wants to go down there for a second. Now you've got the live traffic of David Carter right in front of the top three. Beater running in that fourth spot. Speck holding down fifth. Here's the final time. Working their way on turn number four. Checkered flag comes down. Call this with a done deal. The number four car able to power on through and pick up the win right there. Jeremy Purdy. He slides his way down into the corner. Very happy about that. So Purdy in the number one spot. Schlake will finish out second on the field. The Snow Nationals. That's what's going to be done nice from here on out. Here comes the green flag. We're underway. Green flag is out. We are looking for the final four to go in. Langerberg, Overton, drive it in. Overton. Spinning around. Everybody's going to slide by. No contact made. We're going to stay going. And again, you must tippy toe through the tulips down around this racetrack. She's slippery out there right now up front. Doing that is Langenberg, the one J car. Going to be racing around turn number four. He'll take him across the lap number one. The number seven car of Neil Forsberg sitting second on the field, followed by the number eight, eight of Michael Leffler. And running fourth currently, that is Aaron Schoen out of Sioux City in that 58 machine. 
but sitting right behind, looking for a little bit more. Running fifth currently, does some tap in that 23 T. Here comes Wagenberg out of turn number four yet again. He's got himself solid in the number one spot. I thought the number seven car might have something for him, but Neil Forsberg, the slate Minnesota runner, although he's used to the snow, maybe not so much on the racetrack. Right now, Forsberg pedaling for all he's worth. Watch as the one J car mounts. Oh, let's call it seven car lengths ahead. Ryan Wagenberg holding down that lead, that one J machine working the low side out of turn number four, drifting it up a little bit to the middle group. Down the front straight away, number one, following closely, He's trying to give chase as Neil Forsberg, the Minnesota driver. Minnesota drivers, they don't know how to drive in the snow. Oh, I agree, I agree. And right now, he's, well, maintaining number two spot. Around the racetrack, up front, it is the one Jay here in fence post formation out of turn number four. It'll be six laps remaining this time across the straight. So, Forsberg giving chase, running third there. You've got that 88 of Leffler with the 58 machine currently running in fourth. That's Schoen, the 23 G tap, giving chase, and then it's a few car lengths back to six. Few car lengths to D as we watch him working a real deeper in the field. Everybody maintaining around the racetrack. No challenge to be seen out here. Here's your top four, kind of singled out here, putting it around. The bottom side of the racetrack, everybody dabbling up high in the snow drifts. Much to my chagrin, I'd like to see somebody get up there and try the cushion. There's a cushion of snow up there. Yeah, you gotta get some moisture. <laughs> yep, yeah, there's that. <laughs> well, Langeberg continuing to show the way. We've got four laps remaining. Here in BB trip number two, everybody kind of putting them on cruise control right now on the top four. They know they've got a big cushion behind them from fourth to fifth. Langenberg, Forsberg, Leffler, one, two, three on the field. Then comes the number 55, Baron Schur. I'm sorry. Is that the 58? Yeah, the 58, 58 Aaron Schur. 58, 58 Aaron Schur had the right name, wrong number. How odd is that? Schur running along in a fourth and final transfer spot. Out looking in, I guess we'll call Zach Anker. Sioux City runner in the 68 team car currently runs in the number five position on the racetrack, getting a little bit of a challenge from the number 54 car of Cal Piper. So Langenberg will set up back down into turn number one, two laps remaining. Forsberg sitting second, the 88 of Leffler in third, Sharon running fourth. Right now, Anker, that 68 team, all he can say is, well, if we're near the top, it's uh, around a little bit, it might help out. Traffic just ahead of the race leader is going to tighten them up, perhaps, on this final lap around the racetrack. Hope that's not the case, or maybe it is. He has to check out, back out of it. One J car, Corey Langenberg, will now peek to the outside. And there he settles himself down. He's good to go. Coming out turn number four, easy on the throttle. Checkered flag flies. And new feature number two for the Hobby Stocks is now complete. So Langenberg, your winner, crossing the line in second. And it will be the seven of Forsberg with the 88 machine of Leffler in third and the 58 Schoen in fourth.